Hey what's going on guys my name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Customerly which is a pretty cool automation for your live chat and you can also create your own funnels which we're going to see right now. So right now I'm in my Customerly dashboard and the first thing we're going to do is install our live chat. So let's head on over to this right here. Install your live chat which is this one right here. We're going to click on it install now and it's going to ask us in what platform do we want to install this is it like web integrations just pure html is it a wordpress site angular api custom integration ios android suggested integration just a whole bunch of them we're going to do this on wordpress which is one of the most used uh, web development web development um, platforms and what i'm going to do is just forget about this we're going to go to our wordpress site and here on wordpress site there's a little section called plugins we're going to click on add new plugin. So in here, in here where it says add new, we are actually going to search for it customarily. So once you search it here, it says right here, live chat by customarily. All you got to do is install and activate it. Once you activate it, it should pop up here on the left. So once you have it here, it's going to ask you to log into your customarily account or just allow access to it. Super easy and straightforward stuff. Once you already have it installed, I recommend that you customize the look of it. So here in your profile picture, we're going to do a click on it over there, go to settings, and in settings, we're going to go to live chat appearance here on the left side. And in this appearance, we're going to use a color that if you want to customize it. Let's just for, say, for example, um, my colors, my logos has pink, so I'm using pink on it. But I don't want to use blue, for example, hey, let's just say my competitor is, is using blue, so I don't want to use blue. So you just customize it. Just select the color that you want right here. Super easy and straightforward. Default position, do you want the icon to be on the left or on the right? Let's put it on the right. Next thing we want is like background theme. Do we want to have a background or just plain white? Just depends on you. I like to have something of a background right there. And super easy and straightforward stuff. Let's save it. Once that is safe, I recommend you head on over to live chat settings. So on live, live chat settings, we have two welcome messages, one for vis visitors and one for logged in users. So I just have the same message for both, but it can be different because if it's a visitor, you want to like something more engaging. If it's a logged in user, maybe something more personalized or something that like, I don't know, head on over to a dashboard. If it's not a visitor, you don't want him to head over to a dashboard yet. Maybe you want him to register. So it's different. And we got other customized like enable anonymous chat, Google Analytics. That's on the paid version. I just want to say everything that you see right now is on the free version. So you, if you head on over and open an account, you can all you can do what I'm doing, whatever I'm doing right now for free. OK, guys, so once we got that set up, let's head on over to the site where we have this installed. I'm open incognito tab and I'm going to head on over to the site so you guys see the actual live chat working now. We're going to get notifications however we want. I'm going to show you that in a bit. So this is the icon right here. I'm going to click on it and you can see it says, how can I help you? Super easy and straightforward stuff. And let's, let's just say hello. And I should be getting an email and an app notification. So if you have installed customerly, you can, uh, answer the customer super fast and super easy that's the point of this making the customer think he's in a live chat i mean he's, he's thinking hey you're a corporate business and you got five guys working for you and you know what they can answer you really quick but not nah, it's, it's just you know what it could be in your home you can be in your bed and you can answer and they'll think you're super professional so the first thing that we're going to capture is the email which is super important so once we get the email right there it's just we're just gonna do whatever we want right here, just for the purpose of this video. Go. We clicked on that. So now we have a way to contact this customer. And now we can just go ahead with the with the conversation. E either the client gives more information or we can go on board them. But we can also see this message over here. Hold on, let's close this incognito tab. You can see we have the conversations right here. So the conversation that we just started right now, we can either uh, do it right here, we can we can answer right here, or from the phone. It just depends how you want to do this. Now on this right here, it, the free version doesn't have team members, but if we have a paid version, we can assign this to someone else. So this is like unassigned or added team member. And it's like I said, on the free version, I can't add anyone. If this is like a customer call and they need support, we help them out. When we are done, we can hit mark as done. 
So all this is gonna help you make your relationship with your customer even better. Now we get a whole bunch of information when the people uh, log in, they give their information. We have their email, we can view their profile more, we know where they're coming from, what country, what browser they're using, what type of computer, um, the, the website that they visited. So let's just say for example, you have three, four websites that are like almost the same, that are gonna, just gonna tell you where they are coming from. So this is good information that we can have. And we can also add attributes like tags. We can add tags, let's see, events, we can do events. We can use tags and segments. You can segment these people, are they customers? Are they people who are mad? Are they people who need support? And just all that good stuff, we can segment them. And in tags, it's a pretty cool thing also because you can later look for them really fast and really easy. So we have all these chats right here that have been started. I'm gonna mark this one as done and it's moved. Super easy and super quick. That is a live chat version of Customerly. Next thing we have, let's head on over to Campaigns. Campaigns is to send out email broadcasts. When you have already a whole bunch of clients who have uh, chatted with you, we have all their emails. We can either use those ones or we can import new emails. In this case, I'm gonna just do test and like I am the sender and I'm also the reply recipient. So it's gonna return back to me. I go next. So these are my email addresses. We can use, we can add a condition. Do we want to select by email, profiles, just a whole bunch of information that we can use and type of leads or just all. Once we have all or whatever you want to select, we go next and we're going to create, let's hit right here. I'm going to just do this one. This is how we're going to view one of the ones I already created. You can view it on computer, smartphone or tablet. Super easy, super quick. We can do delivery by live, live chat or by email. Or if you want to create a brand new one, just click right here. Let me show you really quick what, the, what it will do. It's pretty cool. It has a bunch of customizations. We can select one of the default templates that we already have. It's like announcement, double announcement, follow up, or simple text. Or you can do your own HTML right here. So I'm going to select announcement. And we're going to be calling this test2. Click enter. Once it's loaded, it's going to let us customize it. So it's like a default template that you're going to have your logo, image, information, call to action button, and all this can be customized colors. Where's the link going to go to? Do we want to change the button on top? We just drag it on top. So super easy builder, just drag and drop builder. We can add more add a section and we have all these sections that we want for images, three images, text, text and image, and all these good stuff that we can use to customize our email. So let's just say that's that's okay. This is a test do. We can view it or we can use it. So what are the actions? Edit, duplicate, or send a test email. So I'll send a test email about this one right here to my email. Okay, so that's sent and we should receive it really quick. So it's right here and there's the email. So we got an information. Remember, I didn't put a picture on this, just a logo. But super way and easy way to check out what's going on. Okay guys, so that's the email campaigns. Let's head on over, yes, discard. Let's head on over to funnels. Once we already have campaigns built, this is a pretty amazing tool. I'm gonna show you why. You probably think it's like a simple simple funnel, or you might get a little distracted or worried, or how hard is this? Let's also create a test one. Hit next, and this is a funnel. A funnel is like a waterfall type of how people, how you are gonna, contact people the way you want them to. Let me show you really quick. So the entry point is this, a new user. We're gonna send them an email. Once we already created our emails, we can select the template that we wanna use. Check right there. So I'm gonna select, I'm gonna select this one, test. So I've selected my campaign. So I, I would recommend you build a lot of them before you start your funnel. And let's just say, you know what? Let's add a condition to this one. There we go. So condition is like a, a negative and a positive. What do you want to use this condition for? Okay, so let's add a condition. In my case, and what I always like to use is this condition right here. So the A, B test, okay. So in this condition, I want them to, what is gonna be the condition? Do I want it not sent, seen, not seen? So let's just say someone did not see this uh, email, okay? Okay, save filter. So if someone did not see this email, no, actually, again, someone clicked on it. Yep. Someone clicked on this email. Okay, I'm gonna send them another email. 
So if they see the email, I'm actually going to connect it. Check this out to this one. But what's going to happen if they didn't open the email? Well, if they didn't open the email, I'm going to send them this email over here. So the point of this is to actually create a funnel where it's actually working for you and it automates uh, automates everything. Let's connect this right here. So for example, uh, like I said, if they open the email, they're going to receive this campaign email. If they didn't open it, we're going to resend this one. Now, this sounds straightforward, but I also recommend doing this. I am going to create a wait time. See how it default gives you wait three days so that so it doesn't do it like super quick. So I'm going to tell them to wait 10 days. So if I wait 10 days, it, they didn't open the email. Let's change it right here. Need to drag. Let me leave it. Okay, no. If they didn't open the email, we're going to wait 10 days. And, and in 10 days, they're going to receive this email. Are you getting the point of this, of how cool these funnels are? You can automate everything in simple and easy steps for you. Now you create you can create different funnels if you want, but this one would be like the main one and there's more things that you can do. So we can do also like a goal achieved. So we can say we can create a condition if they clicked on that link, you achieved a goal. So you just set everything so it works for you. That is funnels. Let's get out away from it. Then we got the surveys. We can also create surveys like questionnaires. Start new survey. Test also. And let's just go right ahead for those guys. And what is the survey? A button, a radio button, a scale, star, number, text box. So let's just say it's a button. What is the question? Question could be like, hey, what is your favorite social media? And here in the options, we're gonna do, hey, Facebook is one. Twitter and just so on and so forth on the like on this question surveys are gonna help you if you do the right questions it's gonna help a lot on your business because you're gonna understand what your clients want or what your clients need it just depends what questions you ask so super super complete tool here on customerly which I really love I need to get working on the other stuff that I can actually take advantage of but I mean just alone, the live chat for me is super amazing but because it makes me more professional. Instead of just being a plain side with go to the email, contact, and just write in everything, that's like, I'll, I, you could say it's obsolete to tell you the truth. Now it's a live shot. You got to add your own live chat to your website. Okay, guys. Well, this is customarily. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys liked it, the link is going to be in the description to head on over there. Okay, guys. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. See you guys later.